I think as an academic institution, and in particularly in the School of Design environment, it is really incumbent on us to walk the talk. We need to continuously position ourselves in advance of the current state. That's the, our mission as an institution, is to continue to push the frontier through research and development of even higher uh, ideals and higher aspirations. In the campus master plans completed in 2008 and 2012, the then president Tan Chao Chuan decided that each faculty should have a new flagship building that will inspire the occupants to continue to excel in teaching and research activities in an increasingly competitive academic landscape. We needed a building that would encapsulate the challenges of our time. Sustainability had become an important part of what we teach. The architecture of the school needed to match the pedagogy of the school. This was done right it would not only add credibility to what we teach, it would allow the use of the building as teaching aid and research scaffold. The values of SD4 are twofold. One for SD itself as an educational institution is really to set a precedent and an aspiration for all of our students in terms of performance, but also architectural um, formal clarity. This sets a tone in which we as educators teach our students and it becomes a way of showing immediately to our students the values that we have as a school. First of all, I think the building looks very tropical. I think it will make a very handsome entrance building to the university. And all this will achieve with good architecture, without compromising the sense of space, the beautiful proportions, the combination, the articulation of materials, the details. Different spaces has a certain informality and the generosity that the spaces provides. So there's a lot of breakout space, interpenetration of workspace, as well as collaborative space, learning space and research space. So that it cultivates a sense of collaborative work or collaborative learning within the school itself. The ferocity of this uh, party, I think, is pretty fantastic. The south elevation, it's framed by a colonnade that supports the large PV panel above. And in a way, it really speaks to the kind of amazing integration between the natural environment, the outdoor climate, and interior spaces. This project has preserved a sense of lightness and space. And interestingly, this ambiguity between the indoor and outdoor space was even visible during construction. For example, in the way in which the building structure and the scaffolding encapsulated the existing trees. In architecture, the building is as good as, of course, the client as well as as good as the architect. So both has to play their role. We were pushed by the brief. And in which the vision was very, very clear. There's a, a vision uh, to look at uh, environment performance, environmental sustainability in a very, very serious way. So I think the coupling of a, vision, a clear vision and the technical performance that we have to hit really uh, paved the way and guided our architectural response in, in, in a very, very productive way. This building uh, is going to be very different than the rest of the building in NUS different type of mechanical system with this ceiling fan and uh, the way the building operates will be very different. We will have a lot of training. Uh, uh, we have to engage a lot of training to the users to teach them, educate them how to use the systems, how to use the building. SD4, in fact, being a net zero energy building is attracting a lot of that attention. It's a showcase of uh, NUS. After the project completed, a lot of these uh, agencies or other institutions would like to learn from NUS how we really achieve really a net zero energy building. To design a net zero energy building is something which is particularly interesting for me, but in particular for Singapore and for the School of Design, I think it's key. There's a generation of students going through this school in the next 25 years, and this is the place where they will learn. If this building can teach just a small group of people how to sort of help out in the environmental aspect and then they disseminate down on to you know, people at large, back in home, back in society. I think then SD4 is a fantastic building to start with.
I think it also reflects what we have learned as a team along the way. I think one of the key learning points would be that of sharing knowledge and uh, developing a pragmatic uh, understanding of design principles, systems across disciplines. But the project went even beyond this target, looking at opportunities for pedagogy. And uh, this whole idea of integrating design, construction, teaching and research was translated, for example, in seminars, in workshops and site visits with SDE students and staff, or even in signing memorandum of understanding with SDE partners in introductory sessions with delegations and embassies, and the entire process became pedagogical. All this was a very clear and important message, particularly for a school of design and environment. That's why we are doing what we're doing, so that the students get that opportunity to experience firsthand what it is like, first of all, to engage in such a process, to design, develop, construct, and operate a state-of-the-art building that is supporting of well and green. But at the same time, they themselves also must be influenced to adapt their own behavior in living <laughs> inside such a building. 